Hello, I'm Senator Donzella James of District 35, better known as God's Country. And we're here in the historic capital of the state of Georgia. It is under the Golden Dome where you have sent me as your senator to represent you. And yes, the poinsettias are smelling good and looking pretty. And the Christmas tree is all lit up and the nativity scene is there. It's not a lot of hustle and bustle because this is the day before Christmas. But as I look around at all of the pictures on the wall, all the statues that are here, they don't just represent a statue or a picture. They represent the people who did hustle and bustle through these halls. They were state representatives. They were state senators, congresspersons, governors, lieutenant governors. They were preachers, teachers, and drum majors for justice. And we even have one that almost took up all of those categories. He was a Nobel Peace Prize winner. He was Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And his picture is in the hall just right around the corner. He was a great man. So I know that we had so much greatness that we're standing on the shoulders of right now. I'm a current state senator. And in only two weeks, we'll be back here, and it will be a lot of hustle and bustle. We won't be able to get through these hallways. You see, the 2015 session will begin, and all of the House members and the Senate members, our governor, our lieutenant governor, everyone will be inaugurated. They will be sworn in for the first time, or sworn in for even up to the 20th time, right here in the state capitol. Now, why are we going to be sworn in? You see, we have so many important issues that affect you, the people of Georgia. And I'm honored to serve you. I'm looking forward to putting in a minimum wage bill because Georgia has a shamefully low minimum wage right now. What can you do with $5.20? We need to have $10.10 at least, and that's still going to be low. People right now have to decide, do I pay my rent this week? Do I buy groceries? Do I pay for the utilities? Because guess what? If they own minimum wage, it's very likely that they can't do all of them, no matter where they live. That's why we have so many people living under bridges. There are so many homeless families these days. The job rate is picking up, but it's not picking up enough. In fact, it kind of plummeted in about a, the last month, even though it was going up. But Georgia is still open for business, and Georgia has been ranked number one as the, uh, bis, the state to do business in. I'm very proud of that. I serve on the Economic Development Committee, but I'm even more proud because I've traveled the world. I've gone to at least 55 other countries on my own money, not your dollars. Yes, I went and I represented my self and my state because I was interested in finding out what they do. Yes, even in Africa, I love the motherland and I found out that many of the people want to come here and we've been bringing tours here and they've been opening up business but the good thing is they put Georgians back to work and we are able to do business together to help everyone. So it's a win-win situation whether it's China, Korea, Europe, Africa, Caribbean, South America, all of these countries, Turkey, definitely come to the state of Georgia. We're number one on their list and we're number one in this country, this wonderful country of ours. So the minimum wage is one bill that I will be working hard to do. And I want to improve education. I've always been on the education committee because I'm from a family of educators. I'm a former educator. And I want to make sure that we take care of our children, not just protect them. Yes, they definitely need protecting, but we definitely need to educate them, equip them so that they can be productive citizens in the future. So we have a lot of work cut out for us. We need to expand Medicaid here in the state of Georgia. And how do we do that? There's a bill to do that if the uh, affordable health care would pay at least 90% of the health care. So let's see if we can do that. Let's do, this year 2015 session will be a session that will make history 
or a session that will be very sad if we don't pass a lot of bills. You hear a lot about the medical marijuana. Some people want to have it for leisure, but you make the choice. You let us know what you want. I represent you, the people, and not the politics. So let me know what I can do for you during this wonderful season. Tis the season to be jolly. Yes, this is Christmas time. But remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. We are celebrating the birthday of the real king, our baby Jesus, when you're a Christian. But whether you're celebrating Christmas or Hanukkah, or whether you're celebrating Kwanzaa, or just celebrating the fact that Santa Claus is coming to town. Whatever you're celebrating this holiday, please know that I am your state senator, Donzella James, and I'm always here for you. I'm just a phone call away. So Merry Christmas. Thank you. God bless.